Hey everyone, this is the new Barton Musical Circuit's gated slew module. Uh, this is a two-state slew. Uh, the gate control or this button uh, dictates whether it's in the on uh, state or the off state. Each has its own knob controlling how much slew happens uh, when, uh, when it's in that state. Uh, so let me just turn the uh, volume up and you can hear what I'm talking about. So this is no slew at all. And then when I press the button, you start to hear the slew. But you can also set it the other way. So this gives you a little bit of flexibility with whether you want the gate to be when it's slewing or when it's not slewing. Uh, and yeah, you can also put this under uh, gate control. And then finally you have uh, the sample and hold mode, uh, which that basically just sets it so that uh, the off state never goes on. Uh, it's never in the off state, I should say. It's just holding it except when it's on. And so here we're slewing the, uh, the sample and hold input. So you get that uh, kind of carnival stair steppy kind of sound. And uh, that's the module. Uh, it's pretty simple. The uh, the only thing that might not be obvious with it is I. Uh, I used the CMOS based switch instead of the more expensive uh, DG202 I've used in other designs because uh, some people have trouble finding those, especially in uh, Europe for some reason, uh, or at least that's what my customers tell me. Um, and so uh, the results of using the cheaper chip is that it's a positive voltage is only on the CV input. Uh, you can go positive or negative on the, the triggering gates, but... Uh, yeah, uh, negative voltages that you put in to try and sample hold or slew them, uh, it'll just read them all as zero. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching.